Hey everyone, welcome to my video today. Today is going to be a tutorial on this look that I've got today. So a nice gold, glittery, smoky eye look. Um, I'm Elise, this is my channel. I'm completely new at this, never done it before. So if the video is awkward, bumbly, I make a million and one mistakes, the little camera angles aren't right, I uh, do sincerely apologize. I'm going to film this part on my iPhone because my camera died shortly after filming the tutorial. So again, if the quality looks a bit different, I apologize. Um, my channel's mainly going to be full of tutorials, hauls, um, trying out new products. Um, anything that I get, I'll test with you guys and do a full review on stuff as well. I can do Q&As and um, everything. Any suggestions that you have of stuff that you want to see, you can put down in the comments below or again, go on my Instagram, my handle's Elise Whiteside. Um, I'll put a link in the bottom for that and the description. I mean, next video is probably going to be something really bright and colourful. I tried to incorporate a bit of both in this one. I did a poll on Instagram over what people would most like to see from your first video and that was between a brown and gold cut crease or a colourful one and it was a bit up and down all day. Brown was taking the lead, then colours were. Um, so I tried to incorporate a bit of both. I've got a bit of orange going on in this one. A nice beam and highlighter and a mixture of glitters. So we shall see what you think. Um, other than that, I'll be continuing to do loads of polls on Instagram with stuff you want to see or um, any ideas that you have. I constantly want to see suggestions and things like that from you guys in the comments. Um, my mum and dad have just gone to America and I've given them a big list of stuff from Sephora. So I'll be doing a big haul with all that sort of stuff when they come back and I'll do that in a video. I'll do swatches, try it on, a bit of everything so you can see exactly what the hype is about the stuff that I've put down. I think there's a bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills in there, Fenty, Jouer a bit of everything so um i'll do a big video with all that in as well and i think the next video i'll do in addition to that is probably a bit of work with the stacy marie mua palette something really bright and colorful and it's just one of those palettes you need in your life so all those who feel like this didn't give them enough color um the next video can have that in as well like it and bear with me because i've never edited anything before i've never done this before so um if it is a bit awkward juddery the next one will be better, I promise. <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or anything um, in the comment section below, just ask them and I'll answer them. I'll go on my Instagram, thanks. So the first thing I'm gonna go in and do is create a base on my eyelid. So it's just gonna make your colors stand out and be so much more vibrant and stay on all day as well. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Select cover up in NW15. So they don't actually make this anymore. So the best alternative is the T. Louise makeup base. I was gonna have it for this video, but unfortunately I have it never didn't arrive. And I'm taking that on my Inglot 22T brush, just a really nice flat brush. Um, and I'm going straight in on the eye and under the brow with that. It also makes when you come to do your brows later on as well. So much easier to carve out. What I'll do as well is I'll take a, just a fatter brush, it can be any fatter brush, and just buff it all over my lid because you'd be there forever trying to do it with that flat brush. And your eye done, is it really covered? So, first off, I'm going straight in with eyeshadows now. What I'm going to do is I'll do one eye and then I'll go off camera and I'll do the other. Straight away, I like to go in with my medium sort of toned colour on my eye. So, I'm going to go in with my Jennifer Lopez Cafe or Lace fudgy brownie sort of colour. Really nice. I'm going to go straight in with that into the crease of my eye and I'm going to take my Spectrum A12 brush. So all I do is I take that brownie colour and I go right into my crease with that. Don't want to take it too high and you can be quite messy with it as well. You probably notice some people like to set the concealer that they put on their eye with a white eyeshadow first. I am not one of those people. I feel like it can take away from the pigment sometimes. Some people really like it. Personally, it's just not for me. To get it as full a colour as possible not have any patches because it just makes it look a bit more rough around the edges 
Then from there, I'm gonna take my Inglot 48 SS brush, Inglot 108. So it's like a mixture of oranges and I like to buff them all together um, just for my blending out colour. So it's gonna be like a nice autumnal blend. Um, just give them a good swirl together with your buffing out brush. Oranges scare a lot of people, but they shouldn't because they're actually a really nice colour to use. And I'm just gonna go in with that and blend in. And keep going in. And you can see just on the outer corner, there's a little bit of a soft of precision. Going in there. My eyebrows really need doing as well, guys, so I deeply apologise for that. From there, I am then going to go in with an even fluffier, lighter brush, which is my Ingot 40 TG brush. You're going to get a nice blend out. And I'm going to take my favourite whole palette in the world for this one. It's me Stacey Marie Carnival palette. It's brilliant. You get so many colours in it. It is beautiful. I'm going to be taking Shuffle from that. It's a really nice colour. It's not too yellow. It's not too... It's just going to give you a really nice outward blend. Buffing and buffing and buffing with that. Really nice. And then I'm going to go in with my teeny tiny brush. So this is the Inglot 49 SS. It's pink because I butcher me Stacey Marie Amua palette. Apologies for the hand again fake tan I love it it does not love me and I go in with my other JLo colour this is Bordeaux I'm gonna go in with that to deepen the outer corner and blend it across but I definitely will do a tutorial just on the Stacey Maria Muir palette because it literally, it took me so long to get it and then it literally changed my life. Like, I love bright colours, I'm obsessed with them. And it literally, oh, it was just, it's brilliant. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut me face. So some people love using a concealer, some people love using um again the p louise makeup base which i've never personally used but i have in every video i've seen it is really really good um i'm going to be using inglot gel liner so it's in 68 it's like a really nice cream color because it's waterproof smudge proof it's not going to shift you're not going to find when you're doing your cut crease it's going to move it's going to duplicate or anything like that so we're going to use that um, as well it's tacky so when you come to put your pigments on it or if you're using glitters or anything like that they're going to stick to it and not move it saves your job and we do it in white as well and the white one's really nice I just for the purpose of this video I'm going to use the cream one so I'm going to go in and pat that all over me a layer first I go right into me in the corner of my eye I don't know why we feel the need when we do makeup to have our mouth wide open like a fish, but we do. So I like to cut my crease slightly above where the crease in my eye is so I can always see the glitters or whatever work I've done on that part of my eye. And I draw the line out first. It's nice and thick as well so you don't have to work too hard to get the coverage that you want as well and when you're using a brush like this it's so nice and flat you're going to get that perfectly round it like almost draws it for you which is what you want but if you've ever tried a cut crease before and not had any success that I find using the gel liner is going to just change your life and you're going to find it so much easier. I couldn't live without this now. It has changed my life forever. But you'll find if you draw it you can almost see where my crease actually is. 
I like to draw mine a fair bit higher than that. You don't have to even take it as far as I've taken it. You can literally just do like centre half, but today I've took it right across. So from there, I just like to take a flatter brush and almost go in and just buff me darker colours out. And went back in with that nice chocolatey brown Bordeaux and buffing that into me out a corner. I'm just using a flattish brush, I think this one's from Primark. You don't want a harsh all of a sudden stop where your colour ends and your cut crease begins. And then I'm just going to use the Cafe Au Lait, the light fudgy brown colour again just to like blend them two together. I'm just going to take this almost halfway across my lid. I was practicing Halloween makeup yesterday and I think there's still a little bit of black left on this brush but it's fine. Give that a bit lower. So I'm gonna go back in with that just so you've got a bit more of a transition with it rather than it going straight in with and I just like to take that slightly further forward than where we did the darker brown up to if you can almost see what I needed to do. So now I'm going to use my peaches and cream pigments and for the sake of brightness and it looking all sheeny I'm going to use two. I'm going to use, this is, I don't know if you can see, it's not going to focus, this is Disco and this one is Gatsby, it's really nice Gatsby, it's like a beautiful champagne colour, really really sparkly, really really nice and Disco is more of like a silver colour but I'm going to blend them both together and create a really nice little glittery blend. So first off, as Disco's the lighter colour, with that being silver, I'm going to go in with that one first, with it being the lighter shade, and I'm going to pack that on there. It is so beaming, it is ridiculous. It is beautiful, and I don't want to take that any further than the first quarter of my eye. Just so it's got a bit of a transition. Straight from there I'm going to go in with Gatsby and almost buff and blend the two together to create this transition of glitter. In the comma. If I can get right in so you can see. And from there, just to blow the line a little bit, I'm just going to go back in with that nice cafe colour and just buff it into the, crease, the side of your crease. All I like to do is I like to highlight my brow bone and me in a corner. So I'm going to go in with from Inglot 395. Finish it off. So I'm going to go in there with that. So with it up the top, so I'm literally going to follow my brow right round, pack it on with the bottom. It is just copying exactly what you did on the top, just in reverse. So take again, take your cafe or life and jello, and I'm literally going to go in with that all under the eye because you've already put your concealer down before, it's already and set up to go. Then you're going to take again your orangey toned colour, both them in together. And then again, I'm just going in with a shuffle, giving that a bit of a blend out as well. But that's that. From there, that's when I then do my liner. For this, I'm going to use the Illamasqua Liner Gel Pot in Infinity, which is just the black. And I'm using the 23T brush, just a really thin brush. And I'm going to take this right along the eye, so I'll show you how I tend to do that. So I like to draw a line on my eye first, so that my outer corner's got somewhere to like marry itself to. Then I draw a line from the outer corner of my eye, all the way up. Well, as far as you want your line over, I like quite a big wing. And then from the middle of the eye, just draw it in.
I've always been a massive fan of gel or liquid. I thought for the purpose of this video we'll just do something nice and simple. It's easy to follow as well. And then just for the purpose of this video as well, I'm going to show you how to smock it out underneath. Again I use a gel liner, I'll put that straight into my waterline. The brush is slightly onto the lashes as well so you've got something to smock out with. That's why I use this brush because it's really good for doing a lot. And I don't go right into the corner, I like to leave just a little bit of that area highlighted. And I really just... And I join it up with my outer corner as well. Because you're going to go from the window in. So, it looks a little bit of a mess now. The easiest way I find to smoke out stuff, even if it's on the top of my eye, if it's on the underneath of my eye, is with Duraline. This is this little vial from um, Inglot. It's only £10 for smoking stuff out, it's really nice. You need like, the tiniest little bit. I'm going in with my Inglot 13P brush, which is just a teeny tiny little brush. And I literally brush it and put it on it and just pull it down almost. I'm just going to do that just so we've got an almost buffer where the wing meets. Yeah, and you can even slightly smudge your wing out as well if you want to, to deepen those outer corners. And all I'm doing is literally just pushing it and playing with it a little bit. I always like to just dab my brush off as well when I'm using Dura Line. Um, you don't want to go in with it too wet because it's just going to wipe out your eye. And I'm just buffing and blending and just playing with it a little bit. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I'm going to come back on and we'll do the whole face together. But that is that side. So I'm just going to go off and do my other eye and then I'll come back on and we'll do the face together. And my prime. So one of my favourite primers, especially because I like such full coverage foundation, is Inglot's SPF under makeup base. And that is one of my favourites. It's so creamy and lovely. It's almost like a moisturiser in itself. And so I'm going to go all over with that. Just as if you're putting a moisturiser on. Prime is really important, especially putting your makeup to stay on all day. And especially if you find you've got quite dry skin and you wear full coverage, this is a perfect primer. So. Because I've got all that on, I feel like I may as well go in is this, which you'll probably see me using a lot in videos, the Maybelline Superstay. Really, really good, really cheap, really for me. skin looks beautiful, it is amazing. So I'm going to go in with my Inglot 36 SS brush, it's one of my favourite foundation brushes, it is a beautiful, you can see the writing's nearly come off. In with this, straight onto the face now, and you'll see how beautiful it is. Buff it on the skin, and finally, my face is gonna match me. I like to literally like staple it into my skin, like stuff so stuff. What would we do without foundation and false tan? I do not know. Now I've got that on. I always go straight into concealer. You can go out, cover up and highlight you up. I like to mix the two together and get like a really nice creamy glowy finish. So they both come with like a little stick on the end and get your little tubes. So I always go in first with the concealer. It always looks super duper scary at first. I go in with a lot because I'm obsessed with under eye conceal and highlight. I do some down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. I'll just pop a little bit of the highlighter over the top as well. I'm going to go in with my stippling brush and literally just bash that up and down. I like to go for a shade that's slightly lighter than, well, slightly majorly lighter than the foundation. Get it down my chin on all the high points of your face. So now I'm going to go in with an Anastasia one in shade Espresso, but I like to add a little drop of Jura Line just to make it a bit more blendable on the skin. And I like to go in with one of these brushes to do it, 4SS brush, and then I do that to blend it on because it buffs it on. And I always say from the middle of your ear to the corner of your mouth, obviously not all the way. Just buff it on really nicely and lightly. Anything 
We're going to do the other side. As well, I don't like to focus too much on contour in the nose. I just like to put a little bit there just so I've got something to finish it off almost. Like, to look like I've got cheekbones, but a really round head. So, I'm going to go in with Coco 4 from Inglot. It was beautiful, it's like a really nice neutral sculpting powder. It's not too orange, it's really, really nice. And I'm literally just going to go in with it over where I've done. Um, cream contouring. Do the tops on the head. Blend them in. And the double chins, Tina and Trisha. Sculpt my jaw out a little bit. From there, oh, hair's everywhere. I'm gonna go in with the AMC Multicolor Bronzing Powder from Ingot just to soften it out so that you've not got any harsh lines it just buffs it out really nicely again on the forehead a bit down the neck and now I'm going to go in with the blush at everyone it looks like the scariest thing but it's beautiful it's so nice on the skin you can use it as an eyeshadow as well it's one of those things that you can just use everywhere and again I'm a big fan of being able to multi-use something I'm going to go in with that on the cheeks. If you're anything. That's that. That's my base down. And then, of course, we have to go in and finish it off with highlighter because what is life without a highlighter? I love Doll Beauty highlighter. It's beautiful, it's glowing beyond belief. And I have the duo. So I'm going to go in with my 6SS brush from Inglot in the golden one. And then just dust that out on my cheeks and you can see straight away how glowy that is like that is so it's one of my favourites I've used it for such a long time and dust that just on the tops of your cheeks oh look at that oh, that's what you want a highlighter to do you don't want to look dusty and chalky if that's not beamy enough I'll go in with this this is the Jennifer Lopez It Needs a Wipe Sparkle Dust in Radiant it is oh, Genius tiniest bit because it was like whoa. see if you thought that was glowing. This sort of and you can use again, this is something you can use as an eyeshadow as well. Again, I'm beaming, love it. <laughs> and from there I'll go in to do my brows. So brows I was debating not even doing them on camera because yeah. You either have a good brow day or a bad brow day and I feel like I don't know which way mine are going to go so I don't want to risk it but we will, we'll do it, I'll do it for you um, so first off I'm going to go in with Inglot Brow Shape and Mascara and just brush that all over my brows to give it a bit, to give a bit of life into a um, bit of shape got your shape sort of there ready you can go back in with that later and again I use the Jennifer Lopez Truffle Brow Gel from Inglot. Go in and do that and I literally follow where we drew the concealer earlier. So I'm going to do that. I always start just before halfway, just halfway or just after halfway. And draw. And then with what's left on my brush, I lightly draw a line all the way to the end of my brow. So you can see it's not as harsh as it is back there. And again, because you've already got your brow strokes from where you used your brow mascara, just lightly filling them in. And I'm going to dip back into my brow gel just to curve out the side because I like this bit to be really thick and full I think it just cut off then I don't know how much of me of the brow I actually got in for you but you got the gist when you saw me do the first one anyway but not least we've got lips and lashes so while I do my lips I like to put my glue on my lashes and the lashes I'm using today are Mitchell's Catty Lashes I've never used them before and they look beautiful, so nice and fluttery. 
because I just think no eye look is complete without a nice pair of lashes. I'm using the Inglot 63 Precision Lip Liner, which is a really nice colour that goes with you know, every nude you've probably got in your kit. That's that on. And then I'm going in with JLo lipstick in mauve. It's a nice matte shade. If I can try it and use it, I can. Go in with Jennifer Lopez Big Diana lip gloss and put that all over. And that's the gloss on. So it just cut off there just as I was doing my mascara. Unfortunately, the battery on my camera has just died and I can't get it to start. So we'll just leave that there. But that is the finished look. All glittery, lashes on. The Mitchell lashes are insane. This could be better, but we can't. It's like my brow lord, we had a bad brow day, so unfortunately for that. I hope you liked the video today as well. Um, if you have any suggestions, anything you want me to do videos of, any questions or anything, just put it in the comments. Make sure to check out my Instagram as well. Um, I'll put a link and my Instagram name in the description because I'll be doing polls through there, posting looks. Anything I do, I send to put a lot of stuff on there as well. I'm going to try and upload a video at least once a week. I'm going. My next video is probably going to be something bright and colourful and then after that I'll probably be doing a big Sephora haul. Thanks again for watching and make sure you subscribe down the bottom because I'm going to make sure I'm posting content all the time and hopefully the next video won't be as awkward and bumbly as this one was. Now I'm used to it. But thanks for watching. Bye.